The notorious bandit popularly known as Awolun Daudawa was said to be a gang leader of the kidnapped campings operating from Gidanjajo Dumbrum Forest along Zamfarkas inner boundary. He alongside some other five members of his gang renounced banditry and surrendered their weapons to Governor Bello Muhammad at Government House Gusau. The repentant bandits who individually took oath with the glorious Quran before the security agencies, traditional and religious leaders vowed never to go back to banditry and other related crimes. They also sought for forgiveness from members of the general public. <laughs> Governor Bello Muhammad said the development is in furtherance of the peace process initiated by his administration, expressing optimism that more of the bandits will lay down their arms soonest. <laughs> Nobody forced him to come and bring it. It was not by engagement, but for the sake of dialogue and reconciliation. Zamfara State Commissioner for Security and Human Affairs Abubakar Muhammad Dauran, who presented the repentant bandits to the government, affirmed that reconciliation remains the best option for the ongoing struggle to achieve a lasting peace in Zamfara and other neighboring states. The weapons surrendered by the repentant bandits include 20 AK-47 rifles, one general purpose machine gun, and a rocket launcher, as well as 22 magazines and rounds of live ammunition. We have done our work. Oh, it will be recalled that some other seven notorious bandits had last week repented and surrendered sophisticated weapons and ammunition during a similar event held at Government House Gusau in Gusau, Jamilu Ibrahim. NTA News.